right, everyone, this is Jaleesa Scott, and thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into this leg day video now. And if you like the video, like, comment, and share the video, y'all. Do that. I love reading your comments. I really appreciate them. So, of course, like I said, today is leg day. And you see me with doing kettlebell walking lunges here, and it might have appeared as if I was swinging the, um, the kettlebells at my sides, but I was just kind of like letting my arms do what they do and I wasn't stopping them. But I also wasn't bringing my shoulders forward. It's always, you know, stomach tight, back straight, chest up. The same with these deadlifts right here. You see, if you notice, um, the weight is definitely in my heels. I'm keeping the kettlebell as close to my body as possible because that is where I felt the maximum stretch in my hamstrings. So that's how I knew they were working. The exact muscles I wanted to work were my hamstrings, my under butt, and my butt. So if you guys try this out, remember, keep the weight as close to your body as possible. There's no really real reason I was using a kettlebell. I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. Typically, I'll use a dumbbell or a barbell to do these, but there's many ways to do the same exercises. So if that's all you have available at your gym, use that. And remember, keep the weight. I even had it slightly behind me because I actually really felt it in my hamstrings more. And these are some wonderful seated leg extensions. They feel so great. Let me tell you. No, not really. But um, yeah, these work the quads. I am also focusing on building up my quads during this wonderful caloric surplus that I'm on, AKA holiday, AKA just off season, AKA I'm just trying to build my legs up so I have some nice muscles showing next time I compete and I cut down. This right here is just, I don't even know what to call this. It's just a push down, I don't know. It's on the machine for the dips and the, um, it's on the assisted pull, pull up machine, that's what it is. And you can also do assisted dips on this. But as you can see, my toes are coming up because I'm putting the weight solely in my heels because I want this to feel the burn in my glutes because that's what I was intending to work was the glutes here. Um, Darren did not get me doing <laughs> my right leg, but you'll see here. Just push through your heels, y'all. That's how you're going to feel the stretch in your glutes, all right? This right here, honestly, I did it because like a long time ago, I saw some lady in, a, in another gym doing this and it looked so good and I love doing... Um, like Bulgarian lunges, which is like one-legged uh, squats, I'm sorry. So yeah, no no knees over the toes. Although, of course, Darren did not get to my foot, so you can't see that. But yeah, no knees in the toes. Lean it back. I'm not going to lie, this was definitely some core work too because it, was, it required a lot of balance, y'all. So keep that in mind. Keep that stomach tight, chest up, back straight, and feel the stretch in your hammies, your quads, your glutes felt so great. Thank you all so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate you. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, like it. If you didn't, like it anyway. Comment, subscribe, and share these videos, y'all. I'll see you guys in the next one.